Hello there. So in this video, we're going to practice the uh vowel sound. It's very similar to many people's favorite vowel sound, the schwa sound. And it's also similar to the R sound. So we'll look at both of those as well. Some common words with the uh vowel sound are nurse, bird, first, learn, word, work, world, earth, early, and heard. It's technically called the open, mid-central, unrounded vowel because your mouth is slightly open, the tongue is in the middle of the mouth. But you know what? This is quite a strange sound. It's very similar to what a, little, what a lot of people call the schwa sound which is the uh, vowel sound, but it's also similar to the R uh sound, as I said. So let's do a physical comparison with both of these and look at some minimal pairs when we can. First, let's look at er uh and uh. Er uh is the open mid-central unrounded vowel and uh is the mid-central vowel. So they're very close. Er uh is just a little more open and longer. Watch my mouth as I say the sounds. Uh, 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 so er uh is a longer sound and the mouth is a little more open. Another difference is that there is some tension in the tongue with the er uh sound while with the uh sound your whole mouth is a lot more relaxed. Now let's compare the er uh and r uh sounds. R uh is technically called the open back unrounded vowel. So the mouth is more open than with the er uh sound and the tongue is further back. Listen, er, uh, r, er, r, er, r. There are quite a lot of minimal pairs for these two sounds. Minimal pairs are pairs of words where the only difference is one sound. So let's have a look at some of the best ones of those. Bath, birth, bard, bird, balm, firm, guard, gird, hard, heard, barn, burn, calf, Curve, dart, dirt, park, perk, shark, shirk. A good way to practice is with minimal pairs. So you can read out loud and repeat these pairs of words. And as you do, focus on that one sound that's different. Adjusting the openness of your mouth and the position of your tongue until it sounds right. So use the chapters to go back and read them out loud with me. Now let's try my favourite way to practice pronunciation, which is with some tongue twisters. So here are some tongue twisters, focusing on the er uh sound. The first bird heard the nerd and spread the word. Sheila's sure to share her purple. Sheila's sure to share her purple shirt. Fern learned to turn her words with concern. Fern learned to turn her words with concern. Her perfect herbs grew under the ferns. The world turned when the turtle returned. The workers were first to serve the dessert. He stirred the bird's nest with a long, firm stick. Gertrude prefers the journey by the river curve. The early bird learned to surf on the turbulent surf. Bernard earned $30 serving burgers on Thursday. To practice, once again, use the chapter points to go back and read these tongue twisters aloud yourself. Thanks for watching 
and I hope you found this useful. If you want to improve your English, then join the English Language Club today and unlock a world of opportunities. Get exclusive content updates, access to our app and vibrant Discord community and many other benefits. Click the link in the description or the card in the corner to join the English Language Club now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.